Guys, they have been watching. Watching my every move. But guess what? Today is the day that I finally get to show you what's in the secret box. This guy has been in my shop now for almost two months and I can finally show you. I am so excited. This is the all new X-Tool F2 Ultra. This has a 40 watt diode with a 60 watt MOPA. What will they think of next? Get out of here. All right guys, so all jokes aside, we are finally able to unbox and show you every piece of the new F2 Ultra by X-Tool. Now, like I said in the intro, which is totally off the wall, this thing is packed with so many features. Like I said, we have the 40 watt uh, diode as well as the 60 watt MOPA. And both of these are in the Galvo style. If you're familiar with the F1 or the F1 Ultra, we're gonna be on the same baseline, but just packed with so much more power. Now, every bis piece of this thing, I wanna show you individually and kind of walk through every single piece of it. Now doing that, we're gonna bring the camera a little closer. We're gonna zoom in. We're gonna talk about our ports first. We're gonna talk about our plugins our accessories, and everything we have with the machine before we even dive into any of the cutting. That way you're familiar with it before you buy it, and I'm happy to show you everything that I have worked on with Xtool along the way. So let's, let's get to it. Come, come on a little closer. All right guys, as we're looking at the front of the machine back, this would be the right hand side. Up top we have our emergency stop button. Please do not use this as a power switch. Because if you come four down here, this is gonna be our actual power switch to turn the machine on and off. This is just basically in case of emergencies. Top, we have a USB-C. This is for our USB cable to transfer from our computer directly to the F2. And then below that, we have a USB-A, which is thumb drives or anything else we wanna transfer files from. So let's spin this guy around just a little bit more for you. And as we look here, let's prop it up. I think that'll do. As we look across the back, we have our first, we have our plug for our monitor. Then we have three USB-Cs, port A, port B, and then port fire port, I'm gonna call it. This last one is for your fire accessory kit that's not available yet, but it will be soon. We have a USB-A, which is our key, and then we have our main power source. This is plugged off because this will also be part of the fire suppression, which is a pass-through through the machine. Now, let me cut you off and spin you around. I know this is a little hard to see. We're gonna roll the door up and hopefully it comes in focus. Right back here, there is a port. It's got a rubber plug. We're gonna move that out of the way. There's two USB-C ports. This is where you're gonna connect your rotary and your conveyor. Please do not try to connect it to the back of the machine. It will not work and you'll be very frustrated. Again, conveyor and rotary will plug on the inside of the actual machine. You see the door? Open it up. This is the back. Here's a really cool feature on the F2 Ultra that I want to make sure is noted. It has a removable fan by just opening this back port. And as you can see, you just grab the fan, slide it straight out. There is no plug, there is no anything. Take it, clean it, do everything you need. Now a couple cool features on this fan. It does have this foam membrane, which butts right up to the back. There is no noise, there is no rattling and it's completely sealed. Now, I have been using this fan. You can see all the dust that's in it, which makes it really good. So while I have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. On the fan module itself, all we have to do is open this back cover, which is on a hinge, clean out the internals, close it back. As you can see, like I told you, there's no plugs. There's four prongs on the outside of this machine. Line that up, slide it straight back in, You'll feel it grab, put your cover right back on, and with that foam insert, everything is good and snug. Easy as that. You may ask, hey Trey, we know how easy it is to clean the outside of the fan, how about the inside? All you gotta do is take a screwdriver, pop off this vent cover here, it's held on by four magnets, clean it out, go from there, you can see we can get all the way to the inside of the fan, and pop this guy right back on. And that's how easy it is. All right guys, now I've showed you every aspect and inch of the machine on the outside. Let's get this thing up and rolling and show you everything that it can do. But before that, hit the glamour shots.